What's up everybody? Welcome back for another day of Momentum Wad training. My name is Brandon and today I'm going to coach and guide you through this Fortify System Wad to forge a powerful and resilient body with kettlebell only anti-glycolytic training. Today's Fortify Wad is going to be a strength circuit workout where we work through a sequence of strength building exercises a few times through. Typically with these styles of workout, we perform nine sets per circuit. Today, we're gonna to reduce the number of sets and increase the number of rounds. Let me break down what's in store for you. Today's circuit is going to emphasize squats and lunges. So to that theme, we're gonna begin with inverted goblet squats, 10 repetitions. You'll get a 30 second break and then we'll follow that up with a halo to split squat, 10 reps. At the midpoint of the circuit, we'll break up the movements and perform two arm kettlebell swings for 15 repetitions. From there, we'll move back to front rack squats and finish off the sequence with the Turkish getup, one repetition each side. All of these exercises can be found in our premium exercise library, which is included in your Momentum Wad subscription and your seven day free trial at MomentumWad.com slash join dash now. Without further ado, let's get to it. Grab a moderate to heavy kettlebell, grab your chalk, and let's get started. 10 repetitions of the inverted goblet squat to kick things off. Good luck today. The inverted goblet squat is the exact same exercise as a regular goblet squat, except the kettlebell is in an inverted position. Inverting the kettlebell, putting it into a bottoms up position, changes the physics of using the implement. Doing so creates a weight that is significantly more unstable, and as a result, an exercise that requires significantly more stability. In between each set of this workout, you're going to be given 30 seconds of rest, and in between each round, you'll be given an extended two-minute break. During each rest period of this workout, it's important that you're recovering in an active fashion. Doing so will help to reduce strain on your heart, will help to prevent the buildup of excess lactic acid in your muscles, and will help to keep blood in circulation so you can stay strong throughout the entirety of these three rounds. For your next exercise, we're moving to a halo to split squat, 10 repetitions. For the third exercise of this sequence, we're going to switch things up and perform a power-based movement rather than a strength-building exercise. We're going to move to the two-arm kettlebell swing. If you have access to a heavy kettlebell, now would be a good time to make use of it. Also, chalk up your hands before the set starts so you don't risk losing your grip as the set progresses. Safety first. All right, we gave your quads a little bit of a break, but now we're gonna move back to front rack squats, five repetitions on each side for your next set. Despite the fact that the squat feels like a lower body exercise, if you're performing it properly, it should feel like an upper body exercise as well. You should feel constant tension in your arms, shoulders, and core throughout the entire set. Let's get after it.
For the last set of the sequence, we're going to be moving on to the Turkish getup, one repetition each side. If you've joined me for workouts in the past, you know that the Turkish getup is my personal favorite exercise for jiu-jitsu performance. This exercise does just about everything you'd want out of a strength training movement for the jiu-jitsu practitioner. The getup is not intended to be rushed, so make sure that you make each step deliberate and intentional before moving on to the next part. Alright, so that marks the end of round one of three. Wasn't so bad, was it? We're gonna give you a nice long two minute break to grab some water, but keep moving before we start our second round. I'll check back in in a little bit to see how you're doing. We're going to start back up again in one minute. All right, got round two coming up. Before we get started, let's talk a little bit about squat technique. When performing the squat, it's important that you're controlling the movement as you're performing it. When in the bottom position, hold for a moment before breathing out forcefully and ascending back to a tall standing position. Doing so will not only maximize your gains when it comes to strength and stability, but mobility as well. It's something I forgot to mention earlier, but if you're able to safely, make sure that you're performing these exercises in bare feet. To reap the full benefits of each of these exercises, it's best you perform without shoes on. The increased proprioceptive input that occurs as a result of performance without shoes will help to facilitate improved balance and positional awareness, two skills that are very relevant for jujitsu.
kettlebell swing is likely the most well-known kettlebell exercise there is, but is also often performed and demonstrated incorrectly. The two biggest mistakes I see involve how the power for the upswing is derived. All too often, the tendency is to pull the kettlebell through the upswing by using the arms, and once arriving in the tall standing position, the low back is hyperextended to finish the movement. Both of these things couldn't be more wrong. Drive your heels into the floor to power the kettlebell into the upswing, and arrive at a neutral, tall standing position with each repetition. As you descend into the squat, you should be working at a depth that your body is allowing for. Ideally, your hips will be just below parallel and your spine will maintain neutrality throughout the movement. If you find that the tailbone begins to tuck the deeper you get into the position, it means that your lumbar spine is flexing, which puts you at risk for injury. Work within your physical capabilities and gradually progress your range of motion. During the initial roll up of the get up, roll up and over onto the elbow driving the bell upwards. Forcefully breathe out when doing so. The chest should be at an approximate 45 degree angle and the eyes should maintain focus on the bell. This step is critical to keeping you safe during the initial part of the movement. Once elevated into a bridge, sweep the leg under the hip, stacking it directly under the position of the bell. The weight you're using is appropriate for this workout. You should be feeling a moderate amount of fatigue in those legs at this point. Use this next two minutes before you start your third and final round to continue moving so you can stay loose and stay fresh to finish this thing out strong.
right, this is it. We're about to start our third and final round. There, there are five sets in between you and the completion of this workout. Let's stay focused and make the most out of these last five sets. You're gonna start things off once again with an inverted goblet squat, 10 repetitions. Let's get after it. With knee injuries being so prevalent in jiu-jitsu, particularly injuries to the ACL, MCL, LCL, and meniscus, a halo to split squat is a great exercise to incorporate into your strength training and conditioning routine to develop strength and stability of the knees with a functional, dynamic exercise that won't compromise or risk other parts of your body in the process. Kettlebell swing can serve many different purposes depending on the type of workout you are performing, but two things are constant regardless. The swing is an exercise of power and conditioning. Make sure to keep your movement linear and efficient, and breathe with exertion for each repetition. Because the front rack squat is a unilateral movement, it's actually more functional than it would be if you're doing so with two arms, as with the goblet squat. Asymmetrical exercises will require active engagement on the side of the kettlebell and passive stabilization on the opposite side of the body to maintain balance, which in actuality makes this unilateral movement a two-sided exercise. We've officially reached the final set of this workout and we're finishing things off with the Turkish getup, my personal favorite exercise. Make sure that you take your time as you're working through these last two repetitions. Do not get sloppy. Make these last two reps your best reps of this workout. Last set, best set. Finish this thing out strong, 
I'm proud of you for the work you've put in today. Let's get it.